Hi everybody, welcome to day two of our home practice. And we're going to start again with cat and cow. For the first couple days, we're going to start with the cat and cow and hip circles. Um, I just think it's a good, it's like my go-to. So cat and cow, spread the fingers wide, inhaling the heart forward, exhale as you bow in. And then get into your hips, walk the knees back in nice big hip circles. And make sure you go both ways. And again, close your eyes. Play with going all different directions. Zigzag, figure eight. Make things up. And push your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet, keep the breath nice and full. And then walk your hands to your feet, forward fold at the back of your mat. And just bend your knees a lot here. Don't worry about having straight legs. And then interlace fingers at the low back and reach your knuckles up and over. Really squeeze the shoulders on the back. And if you need to bend the knees more, do that. We'll come to standing cat and cow. So bend your knees and hands go on the thighs. Inhale the heart forward. Exhale, bow in. Inhale the heart forward. Exhale, bow in. So we're just going through a st few standing warm ups. Exhale, bowing in. And then hands to the hips. Step your feet kind of wide and just nice big hip circles. And you can make this really big or just a little bit smaller. Again, go both ways. The standing version of the cat and cow on the floor and the big hip circles on the floor. Then from here we'll take just a couple rounds of chair. So inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, chair pose. You can use your child prop if you need to. Exhale, chair. Inhale, big reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Touch the earth or put your baby down. And then inhale to rise. Reach those arms up. And just a couple with just the arms. So inhale, circle the arms wide. Reach up, look up, watch your hands touch. And exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale as you reach up. Exhale forward fold. Halfway up, inhale, exhale, bow in. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Inhale your heart forward. You can always bring hands to the shins here as well. Exhale, bow. I like to just bend the knees more though, rather than hands on the shins. Inhale the halfway up, heart forward. Exhale, bow in. Then you'll walk yourself forward, down dog. Take your left leg up to the sky on your in breath. I'm Eskimo kissing my baby there. Left leg up on your inhale. You can bend the knee if you like. Circle the hip a little bit. And then step through warrior one. Take the back heel down. Inhale to rise. Reach those arms up. Big breath in. Exhale. Pyramid pose. So you just step that back foot a tiny bit closer. Bow over that front leg. Yeah, play with a little wiggle, a head dangle, a sway. And then we'll get ready for second side, down dog. Right leg up to the sky, spread the toes. Bend the knee, circle the ankle. Just get creative. And step through warrior one. The back heel's coming down. Inhale to rise. Arms reach up, look up. Maybe play with a little side bend. And take peer and mid pose once again. Both hands to the earth. 
bow over that front leg. I forget to do it on that side. And then we'll walk to wide leg forward fold. So just walk your hands over to the middle and then turn both toes forward. So wide leg forward fold, come halfway up on your inhale and exhale, bow in. Just relax your face. And we'll take it into a twist. Come halfway up and take one arm up to the sky. Keep both legs really strong and lean back and switch sides. And then both hands down. Side angle pose. So turn the right toes out, right elbow on your thigh as you reach the top arm. Big stretch through that whole top side of the body. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. And straighten that front leg, triangle pose. Just try not to lock the knee. Have as much bend of an, in the knee as you need to. And then we'll come up and over to this second side. Side angle pose, elbow on that thigh as you reach the arm. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. And then triangle pose. Keep that belly super strong. Stretch the arms apart and grow the legs long. And then make your way to seated. And get ready for a twist here. Take the right leg on top, cross it over. I'm going to face you. So right leg on top and the left leg, either you can hug your knee or hook the elbow around the thigh, twist. And then keep that right leg on top, cow face legs. This is a great hip opener and I really like to get in the hips in the morning. So you do your best to have your knees stacked, squeeze your thighs together. And then switch sides, left leg on top, the knees pointing up for this first part. Get ready for your twist. Keep it pretty mellow. You don't need to do your deepest twist first thing in the morning. And then squeeze the thighs together. So I kind of like lean to one side and squeeze the thighs as much as I can. And then I let the hips settle. Really big breath into the hips. And then get ready for Shavasana. Come onto your back. And again, Maybe it's three quick breaths. Maybe you have your baby on your belly. Close your eyes and just take a moment to really try to be still. So legs can be straight or you can do like I'm doing here. My feet are a little bit wide and the knees fall together and rest on each other. And that can feel really nice on your low back if you've got sensitive low back. So stay here as long as you like. Thank you for joining me. That's the end of day two, and we will see you tomorrow. Namaste.